and I'm going to Chris, you should video it too a little bit. What's that? Should video it too for me. Well, we video it too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. But James's hair is curly, so I'm not going to cut it straight. So I'm gonna use my the master the, the cutting techniques because the hair is curly. If I cut it straight, it's gonna be bulky and heavy. It's like, you know, so heavy. We, we wanna create a softer. It's not like a cutting it square, like a cutting the, what do you call, uh, bush. So look, this is what we're doing right here. And when the hair comes here, you can see it, it moves. Because if I did it, if I did it straight, we wouldn't get this effect right away, you know? So it's very important that, that this hair, particular haircut gets what's looking for. And I got a beggar on my left. Come here, beggar. Come here, beggar. All right, go. His name is Tito. Uh-huh. Yes, sir. James is looking good. My man, James. Thank you for coming, James. Appreciate the trust and, and, and I know you appreciate my work, that's why you're here, my man. Thank you. Can we take a before still picture? Huh? Can you take a still picture of them for me, Phil? Oh, yeah. I don't think I took a still picture. I've got several. Okay. okay. See. Thank you, brother, man. Look at that. Look at that. I'm sure a lot, of, a lot of people would kill for this hair. But James got the roots and he can grow it as he wants. <laughs> Tito standing next to my leg. He wants another, another treat. <laughs> Looks good, James. And you know, your hair color complements my salon. <laughs> you know that, right? And as a matter of fact, I have a lot of customers always ask for this color. Yeah. I probably have like seven or eight clients who gets this color. So, so this, yeah, stand out. I look at you, Dad. Thanks, my man. So he, he's going to... I'm amazed you let him do this. Wow. I have a couple of medium shirts, yes, I'm, I'm gonna give it to Chris. I brought it, it was in the bag from the shop. Somebody gave me, I'm sure you can use it. Ooh, yeah, look at that. So Chris, this is what I'm talking about. I may, I'm gonna cut some more, but you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, thanks. But, but realistically, that haircut you show me is a straight haircut, and yeah. this, this cat. We gotta figure I, something out for the wavy hair. Yes, sir. Yep, yep. Chris has the best looking kids. I'm telling you, they're all like a movie star. Movie star. Uh, the jellies. Uh huh. <laughs> they could be in the films, all the children. Good looking kids. All right, turn around, my man. Thanks, sir. How old are you now? Ten. Ten year old. Wow, wow. This is incredible. James is ten year old. I'm doing this for a reason because he has curly hair, and this haircut it goes perfect for the curly hair. Because if I cut it straight, he will not be doing this effect. It will, but and then I have to come back and redo it, redo it, put the texturizing in, but. So I twist the hair nicely, and then <clears throat> all the twist and helps with the curls to, to, to revive when the cut is done. And I already know where my, where my length should be by visualizing, obviously. It's not my first barbecue. So that's why I can see that. That's why James and uh, his incredible dad are here. So, their client, long time client, so, so, he don't miss me. The haircut, the hair show was amazing. We had a lot of amazing, incredible, it was so busy. Probably one of the busiest hair show in the United States. It is the busiest, not one of the busiest, but it is the busiest compared to New York and all. James, keep it straight, my man, okay? Do you need a handkerchief or tissue or anything like that? Mm -hmm. All right, just making sure. <laughs> I'm, I'm definitely feeling it. There's a bit more here. So. I wonder what your mom gonna think. 
You're the only only man in your in your household, right? Because yeah. you got all the sisters. How many girls? You're the one carrying the house name. Yeah, he's got uh, geez, four sisters, five sisters actually. Because mom's got my gosh, mom. you got me beat, brother. I was I was born after three girls. But James and his sister, Audrey, they're twin, am I right? Yep. You guys speak, sometimes you guys say the same thing together? <laughs> That's a lot of hair. Huh? That's a lot of I know, I know. Keep it straight for me, my man. Just look straight, thanks, brother. I'm gonna give you a nice lollipop, man. Don't worry. But but you see, Chris, how, how the haircut is oh, yeah. shaping up? You can't, you can't get this by cutting it straight. You can, but it's gonna be really bulky and heavy. Look at this. Wow. Yes, sir. You had to be a lighter yet, James? Oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> it's like my beard. And you just lost 20 pounds of How hair. long it is. <laughs> yeah. To be quite honest, I love this haircut on him. It looks amazing already. And of course, I'm going to go in and really take some weight from it. But we have to retain some weight in certain areas. So the haircut can, you know, have a nice style and won't go wire, hair wire. Especially outside the saw. Let me see James, look up for me, sir. So much uh, heat. Okay, now, so, see even this, this type of hair, even I can, if I put my comb into it, my comb will get stuck. Certain technique for a certain hair type. It's very important. James keeps straight for me because I'm about to maybe sit down, but right now I want to make sure this is to my, you know, the, the level that I'm standing. What do you think? Good. You like it? Yeah, you're the man. You are definitely you're the man. You like changes. Changes are good. Always have and always will be. That's why I call this transformation. <coughs> so you're getting more lift here. You had so much weight in the bottom part. Now that I'm on the top. I mean, you had them, but you know, it was all pulling it down. And you had, it was too much. It's like ponytail, like, look. So good thing about this video, all your family members can see it if we share it. Your, your sisters, your, even your puppy. They're not puppy anymore. Stafford should tell you, baby. Look to your left, please, sir. Oops. A little bit like that. Took down from James? Took down. See, Chris, what I'm doing on the back part, I'm bringing it in closer. Yeah. So, how do you like this length? Like general, just just a general idea. It looks good. Okay, turn James. James, yeah. Did you remind sweeping this hair, please? Oh Thank gosh. you very much. You get a picture of that hair. We can pick it up and James can hold it. I'm sure your teacher is going to be surprised too. James, keep you keep your leg together because it's very important that because you are working with a. Surgical steel scissor in my hand. Up and search. Oh my goodness. That's awesome, James. James, up. James, look straight, okay? There you go. Don't worry about the head. Yeah, take the picture in the. <laughs> I didn't know you were gonna bring me a hair, man with a, this long hair. <laughs> I could have said, bring him to the blood mountain. I'm gonna cut it on top of the mountain. Right. That would be cool. That would be cool. Next time. Okay. Once it gets that long again, so it'll be a couple years. 
Yeah, man. <laughs> With me on the top of the mountain. It would be, yeah. it would be a really cool experience for me and James. I always want to do that. I just haven't made the move. I've done haircuts on Times Square, but not on the mountains yet. Okay, my man, look, up, look straight at me, sir. Turn to me, turn to me. Okay. Look straight at his chest, keep your chin flat. Yeah. There you go. Slightly a little bit more. I'm looking at the haircut. So, we're gonna bring some in, in, in closer here. Actually, James, look straight, okay? Don't don't try to turn, because I'm, now I'm gonna restructure your haircut. You got all the length, but now I wanna make sure. Based on the picture you showed me, Chris, you want it very similar to the picture then, right? Something, yeah, something close to the... Yeah, as, we, as close as we can get it with it still looking good. Yeah. yeah. But you already know, he has a lot of hair. Closer it is, it's going to look really foolish. Because it has see, all the waves, you know, yeah. pushing in, pushing out. I'm definitely reducing a lot of the bulk from it. James, you okay, brother? You want a bottle of water? What do you think about this length? Good. Try not to do that because the hair will eat your face, all your face and everything else. Long ride. <laughs> That's good. Can you bring him the stool for me? How about the stool? Actually, you know what, James, have a seat. Have a seat. Don't worry about the chief. Sit back for me. Sit back all the way. Come, come, come. Down. Let's see. So, James has a lot of hair, which is a blessing. I guess sometimes a curse. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you have to work with this. Young man, you play soccer? Yes. Huh? Yeah. Not anymore, or you retired? Uh, I still play. Oh, you do? Not as much as you used to? Oh, he's just off for the season. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> this is the old hair I, I can cut today because I cut enough hair <laughs> with all the customers' had. We will not even add up this much here. James, you gotta keep your hands down because you keep bringing it up. I'm trying to give you a, a hairstyle. Huh? Is that better? <laughs> he stands right next to my feet and interferes with it. You know, there's a Treat in my bag, in my pocket. <laughs> he probably missed me already. I mean, I mean, deserving. Me. Okay, here you go. <laughs> go. <laughs> I tell you, I want to be a dog next, next life. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, he's spoiled. <laughs> and he knows it too. 
So I do a little bit uh, uh, building the, 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 the uh, uh, short to long. So I do have to use a little bit more of a different cutting technique. Now I'm going in with my point cutting to reduce the weight. And because he does have a lot of uh, curls and his hairline is really like a it's very, very curly, wavy. So it doesn't have a straight hairline. Curly hair is totally a different type of hair to cut because it's not your typical straight hair. It lays differently. Yeah, all the kids need a good haircut. A lot of kids out there are growing their hair in their face. You can't see their face and they all turn in their head left and right like a, you know, swinging they do this, they do that all day. I'm sure James is going to do some of that because now that we give him a real short haircut, this is cool like a surfer dude haircut right here. Oh yeah, baby. This is a haircut of four people, four customers. He brought me enough hair, <laughs> four customers, yeah, the, more than four customers, maybe ladies, <laughs> like the hair show. I just came back. I did some, fix a man, a lot of bad haircuts. It's amazing. <laughs> Think about the hairdresser's hair I had to fix. So that goes to tell you most hairdressers, they just get a license. Like the drivers. Can't, Jim, sit, sit up straight. Okay, thank you, my man. Keep it straight. Dad, look at that. Mm -hmm. See, Chris, you see this left side? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's wavy. James, look down a little bit, please, sir. Thank you. Curly hair, it has mind of its own. You have to have a 24 hour sleep to get cut up curly hair. It doesn't, it, you can't, you can't cut a curly hair with eight hours sleep. You gotta have a 24 hour. And he, he texted me when I was walking the hair show. He sent me, he said, this is what we're kind of looking for. See what you can do. Good morning, gentlemen. Everybody is sending love to you. Thank you for watching. Watch with brother Simpson. You need a haircut too, my brother. You know, you got a credit, man. You haven't spent that, that gift certificate you bought from me. It's about time because it has an expiration date because I extended it uh, three years already. <laughs> For you, it doesn't expire. That's what Freemasonry is about. It's a one love. Once a brother, always a brother. A good brother, excellent brother. My brother, look straight. Look down, James. Look down. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. James, this is a haircut you're going to wear every day. You know what I'm saying? So it's all about you. You're the star right now, my friend. Okay? You know what that is, right? You're the star. You're sitting on this chair. You are the star. You're sitting in the master's chair right here. Final details coming in. Okay. You can't distract me, you know. Every time you turn your head and you're coughing and everything, I get different ideas. I'm like, what's going on with this guy? Should I wash, please? Uh, he's gonna be he's probably gonna be in a minute. Yeah. So he's gonna get wet, washed out and then looked at again. Oh man. Say it like it is, Chris. <laughs> Who? This is the first part of the plan, you know. 
So he lost this much of hair and this much bundle. Enough probably make a four football. <laughs> oh yeah. Mrs. James. So especially around his hairline, Chris has a very frizzy, yeah. baby-like hair. It's not as strong as as you travel away from the <coughs> his hairline. So, so we gotta have a way to control this. Otherwise, the first first thing is going to pop out. Is yep. Yep. Under Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Listen, wash Chris's hair for me. Okay. After uh, one, James is gonna go back there. We're gonna wash his hair up with conditioner. Cause you need a good deep conditioner. Conditioner. What do you think, James? How do you like it? Oh, I did a lot. Good. It's kind of easier for you to handle, right? Would you recommend your peers, the, the guys your age out there, has long hair and real funky, and or the, even the older guys or the ladies holding on to their hair has no style? What do you recommend them? Would you recommend them come see me so I can make a transformation? Yes. Right? Thanks, sir. So, James says, if you haven't had a really good haircut, you holding on to a hair that's not doing any justice for you. It just uh, gets gets on the way, makes you feel like you have hair but no style. Come see it. Come see Mario at Mario's Hair Designers. Look at Mr. James. His hair looking amazing. You can see his face, and of course he also lost some weight, you know, from it. And the longer hair, you have to eat more food to keep the nutrition going. So he's already looking amazing. I'm going to actually take him back to the shampoo bowl and wash his hair and, and really check everything when it's wet. So, so pretty much going to go all around the haircut. I'm going to redoctor it, make sure his haircut is perfectly, the shape is just right. I didn't miss anything. That's the mastery in the hairdressing. And as you all know, I love cutting hair. And frankly, I'm a hair designer. I want the reason being is, you know, he had this long hair. He had no idea what the haircut was going to turn out. So I already had the vision in my mind what the haircut is going to come out to be. We already had kind of basic rough idea. Oh, I want this, I want that. but. Once you start cutting, you know, the hair acts differently, especially he has so much curly hair around his hairline. He still has his baby hair, especially with the curly hair. Curly hair has mind of its own. And I do like this weight here because otherwise the, the curls right here is going to rule the rest of the hair. So he's a good looking guy. Amazing. There's a handsome dad back there. <laughs>